The record heat is also sweeping through Europe, putting much of that region's infrastructure to the test. There have been reports of the tarmacs at airports literally melting. Casey Decker is with our Verify team and explains what that actually means and why it serves as a warning to the United States. Americans in many parts of the country are used to temperatures above 100 degrees. Brits, not so much. This month, temperatures in the UK surpassed 40 degrees Celsius, or 104 degrees Fahrenheit, for the first time in the recorded history of that nation. And when extreme weather records get broken, other stuff tends to break too. One airport in London briefly had to shut down a runway because of a defect that they said was a result of the high heat. And British press reported a military runway was also shut down because the asphalt had melted. As many folks on social media pointed out, you don't exactly see that every day, even though there are plenty of airports in much hotter parts of the world. So is this even a real thing? Can hot weather damage asphalt runways? Let's verify. Our sources are London Luton Airport, the FAA, and Manic Barman, a professor of civil engineering at the University of Minnesota, who studies pavement infrastructure. Asphalt is made up of a mixture of sand, rock, and a binder made of a sort of oil-based tar. Now, the sand and rock, that doesn't melt, not unless you heat it to 1,000 degrees or more, but the binder melts at much lower temperatures. That's kind of the whole point. To pave asphalt into a runway, it gets heated, usually to about 270 degrees, and the binder becomes a liquid. Then, as it cools down, it becomes a solid that you can drive on. Now, hot weather alone won't get asphalt up to 270, but since it's dark and retains heat, when air temperatures hit 100 degrees, an asphalt surface can get to over 150 degrees, and that can be hot enough to cause the sort of damage that forces runways to shut down. Basically, we are talking about the softening. Like, it, it becomes soft enough so that if a little bit amount of load is applied, you can see an imprint or we technically, we call it plastic deformation, a deformation that doesn't rebound back. And that's likely what happened with some runways in the UK. As London Luton Airport said, there was a deformation in their pavement. And in fact, this is something the airport itself identified as a potential problem in an environmental report in 2019. It said, quote, increased summer temperature and increased winter temperature variability has the potential to cause damage to the tarmac and asphalt. So we can verify, yes, hot weather can damage asphalt surfaces such as airport runways. But why did this happen in London and not say Phoenix, where temperatures regularly far exceed what Britain is seeing? The answer is that there are different grades of asphalt binder that are able to withstand different temperatures. The FAA told Verify American runways typically use pavement that can withstand temps up to 169 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's simply never gotten that hot in the UK before. Maybe 10 years down the line, what is happening this week, we will not say these are record, uh, record temperature, you know, so, so we should be prepared in every infrastructure. With your Verify, I'm Casey Decker. As always, if there's something you want us to verify, we are here for you. Send us an email or you can text Verify to 404-885-7600.